Well, I can die them both. I can give them both blue die, and then I tell teleportation pad, and I go on the landing pad. Hello, this is Spiderrock, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock add-on showcase video. Today we're going to be checking out three new add-ons for May of 2022. I've looked and found three slightly small, but really good looking add-ons to uh, check out and uh, showcase and review to get you started for this month. Anyway, uh, you know, I, I feel like I should stop dilly-dallying or whatever. We should hop right into this with our first add-on, which is the Block Armor add-on by IE Motionless, aka Vatnage. Uh, one of the best add-on creators out there, in my opinion. Uh, this is an add-on that adds in exactly what it sounds like. It adds in block armor. It, it, armor in that looks like blocks. I don't know. They all have... Uh, let me hop into survival. They all have, like, special abilities and stuff. So, we're going to go through some of these. For example, amethyst armor with healing one. And, you know, I'm going to try out a bunch of these different sets of armor. So, if I put on this armor, you can see I have regeneration two. And uh, now I put it on each piece, and now I have regeneration four. So, I'm, like... Practically invincible with full amethyst armor, and I believe this is survival friendly too. Um, so it might be a little bit, you know, overpowered depending on amethyst block or amethyst armor, which is amethyst blocks. But it seems like it doesn't do that much protection, and it doesn't have that much durability. But you pretty much instantly heal back up. Like the only thing I feel like that you could die from wearing this armor is like I don't know fall damage or something, or like if you fell, like anything that anything that doesn't kill you in one shot. Pretty much, like there's, you're, you're maybe you're more susceptible to things that kill you in one shot, uh, higher damage things. But if I were to just like fall from here, I lose half my health and then instantly start to regenerate it back up. Like it, it would take a lot for me to end up in a situation where I was gonna die with this stuff on. So maybe a little overpowered, but in general, you know, otherwise, other than the healing, it's not necessarily the best. Now I have hunger. Let's see, we have beacon stuff, which this is like the craziest. Okay, so I throw on the beacon stuff. This gives me speed. This gives me resistance, this gives me haste, and this gives me jump boost. So now I have resistance, haste, speed, and jump boost. And so this armor is kind of like some of the best stuff, but I'm assuming this is made out of beacons. I mean, it has, it does it, like, e each piece does an insane amount of protection. Imagine how many times you'd have to beat the wither in order to get this stuff, though. Look at look at this, hold on. Beacon armor. You, you, you how? How do you craft this? How do you afford to craft? Okay, what is this, eight? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22. You need to beat the Wither 24 times. And that's assuming that you don't use your Nether Stars for anything else. Like, say, maybe a beacon. But this armor actually does look pretty awesome, too. But yeah, you, you are just so insanely overpowered with this armor on. Except for the fact that you don't get that regeneration. So it may actually be worth it to use some of that lower tier Amethyst armor. But then that's the advantage of having armor with such high armor points. Since even though it maxes out at, you know, what is that, 20 armor points? You could combine this on just enough of these pieces and say maybe, I guess this only gives you like regular like diamond armor, maybe netherite armor protection. But still, things that have higher armor points can can get you up there. You can get their advantages. I don't know. I'm, I'm rambling. I'm, I'm going into like, into add-on maker uh, brain, which I should probably do at some point because I'll be honest, I've been busy with school. I haven't been working on my add-on so much. These bedrock stuff, the bedrock armor, I don't even know how you get this stuff, but that does 11 protection with just the chest plate. Like, I don't even need the boots to, to get a full thing of armor. And, I, like, I don't know how you're supposed to get bedrock, but, I mean, hey, if you can get it, you can you can make this. And it's armor that, that does not break. And it's and it would be really funny if you, like, couldn't take it off or something because it's bedrock and it's, like, you can't control bedrock. Also, I'm out of food. That's the downside of having husks is that the, the husks... Like, I, I should probably do zombies and just, like... Have it set to give them help. Well, I did that before and it like didn't. Anyway, I don't know. Uh, so let's see what's next. We've got. I, I, I'm. I'm not gonna go through all these armors, but I do want to try all these. I like this glass because you get strength one. You get absorbing one with gold block ones. Speed with emerald. Furnaces give you auto smelt, so I definitely want to check that out. Slowness aura with the ice. Lightning with the copper. I don't know what that means, but that sounds cool. A coal gives you a fire trail. Okay, this is cool. XP generation. Like there are so many cool things and. Jump boost, wither aura, uh, obsidian stuff is also unbreakable, which is pretty cool. You get haste, slow falling, fire resistance, XP eater. I don't know what that means. XP eater. Does that like, maybe, I, I, I'm guessing it either sucks in your experience. Also, the iron box stuff's pretty good. It either sucks in your experience or it gets rid of your experience. I don't know. Let's see. This glass armor 
This glass armor is not the most effective thing. I wonder how quickly this stuff is going to break. I'm just going to jump into a pit of guys. But the glass does give me, what is it, strength one. So I get, what is it? I can one-shot husks now with this glass armor on. So there's the advantage of being really, really kind of strong and overpowered. Of course, your armor is going to break very quickly. But I mean, you can make more of it easily because it's glass armor. Let's see, I want to see this auto smelt armor though. So I have, I should have <laughs> auto smelt four or just like some kind of auto smelt on now with this armor. I'm sorry, I love this add-on, this is cool. So if I mine this iron, will it auto smelt the iron? No, okay, wait, do I have to maybe crouch? Okay, uh, oh, okay, so if I get it in my inventory, it auto smelts. Wait, so that's actually pretty cool. So it takes all the raw ores in your inventory and smelts them automatically. That's actually really awesome. Although if you wanted, it would be really funny if this add-on had like raw ore armor. Which I know there's not, but like blocks of raw ore, but then you had auto small armor on, and so you go and try to get the raw ore, and then you don't get the raw ore because it auto smelts. But this auto smelt stuff is really handy. I like that a lot. That's like super duper useful, I think. That's, I don't know, I'm really, I think that's really cool. And you just make it out of furnaces, I guess. Uh, this XP generator armor, I'm assuming, will just generate XP with time. Oh, yep, you can see my levels kind of going up just like that. Uh, I don't know what this lightning armor is going to do, but I'm kind of curious to see what, what lightning for is. If I have this against... I'm assuming it's going to strike them with lightning. You know, that would be cool. Or maybe if I, like, hit them or something. Okay, this doesn't seem to... Oh, nope, that does something. This strikes them with lightning. Okay, well, that's cool. I guess it just, you know, on occasion strikes them with lightning. I'm actually probably going to die, so... Oh, I'm on fire. Okay. And I struck myself with lightning. Let me... Let me take this off, because that seems kind of crazy. Fire trail... Seems cool, although I'm assuming... Okay, no, you, it gives you fire resistance, so you don't give yourself fire. Oh, now I'm gonna light everything on fire. Okay, well, anyway, in, in summary, this add-on... Oh, I'm on fire now, and it's not showing, because RTX, I guess, messes that up. Um, this add-on, I'm gonna give a solid... Oh, I... Wow, that was fun. I was gonna give this add-on... Well, I am giving this add-on a very high score. I, I think it's, like, an 8 out of 10, because, I mean, it's just armor, but, like, Dang, like it's a lot of fun. Maybe it's not the most balanced thing, but who cares? It's it's very fun. So definitely check this out and check out the other add-ons by Emo Vatnage. Uh, they're they're pretty much all really good. Next up, we're checking out the Not Enough Teleporters add-on by Golden Ruler, uh, another I think decently well-known good add-on creator. This is an add-on that adds in teleporters that are just really well-functioning teleporters. Hold on, let me like uh, slash kill at E uh, for a second to get rid of all of these. Uh, Husks, but let's see. Okay, so teleportation pads. Essentially how they work, there's there's teleportation and landing. So there's like the target and then like the end. So let's say I have a teleportation pad here and a landing pad here. And let's say I want this these to go together. Well, I can dye them both. I can give them both blue dye and I tele teleportation pad and I go in the landing pad. And then you can't go back from the landing pad. And while that seems like that could be bad, I think that's actually probably a really smart idea. Is, I don't know, it makes it so it's not so overpowered that you can just have a two-way teleporter. If you want a two-way teleporter, well, then you throw a landing pad here and a teleportation pad here, and you make these, say, red. I wonder what happens if you put two of the same color. I'm guessing it will teleport you to a random one. So if I say I have another landing pad here that's blue, will it, okay, so it seems to, like, not really work if you have multiple of the same color. What if I had two teleportation pads? Okay, well, that, that's probably fair. Anyway, this is pretty simple add-on. It just adds in these and you can dye them and then they work. And I, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see if you can craft them or what they would cost. Um, so let me look up pad. Let's see, what do they cost? Also, you can get, there's those telepad things. So you can you get this, which I don't know how you get trithorium. I'm guessing this will generate underground, but there, there's crystals. Actually, I should just look at it. Let's see, yeah, there are crystals that do generate underground and you can get things. So this uh, can deactivate a teleporter and then I think there is another tool as well that can allow you to, yeah, here we go, the drill, which can destroy all teleportation blocks just in general, if you wanted to like reset, because uh, I don't think, or I guess you can, maybe you can break them, but I'm guessing if you, it, it actually deactivates the teleporters. So another very cool add-on for what it is, I, I think it deserves a good score because I think it does a really good job of just doing a basic balanced teleporter that allows you to just teleport around. And it, it, it has no extra, things it's just teleporters but it's really well good working teleporters so honestly i'm giving it a 7 out of 10 because you know it what it lacks in content it makes up for in literally everything else very polished very well done you can just step on a thing and teleport there and that's it it's great so yeah 
The last add we're going to be checking out is the Energy Bar Add-on V3 by System TV. This is an add-on that adds in energy bars, so I had it off so the bar didn't show up, but now I have it on and there are energy bars. And these energy bars will deplete with time and with things that you can do, so I believe, let's see. Uh, when you do things, so like, I think it's like uh, placing and breaking blocks, running and jumping, with time it will deteriorate. So I want to see if we can just run around, do some stuff, break and place some blocks. I just realized I don't have any like blocks. Here, let me grab an axe and I can go chop down a tree or something. Let me go, let me go outside. Are there any trees? There's one tree. Well, let me sprint over here and uh, chop down this tree. And we're going to see if we can get this bar to deplete. It may be weird because I added it to a world after having created the world. So, nope, as you can see, the energy bar is starting to deplete. We have lost one of our energies. And there are ways that you can get the energy back. So, uh, I will show that. And I do like how this isn't, like, immediately it just starts going down super quickly. I feel like if anything, I'm going to lose my hunger first. But the thing is that things that don't break drain hunger, like I don't think placing and breaking blocks drain your hunger. I think it's simply just jumping and running and swimming and stuff like that. Um, those will still deplete. Uh, the things that don't deplete your hunger, like breaking and placing blocks, will deplete your energy. So you can see my energy is starting to go down and I can make my energy go back up if I believe if I stand still, uh, if I crouch. And if you get three less, uh, or three or less, uh, energy bars, like, left, then you end up in a situation where you're gonna get slowness, weakness, and nausea, it says, and if you get zero, you begin to lose life every second. So you don't want that to happen. So there are energy potions, I believe, that you can get. I'm not entirely sure how you can get them, but I believe there are ones you can get. And it also says this does not use player.json, which is crazy. I don't know how this doesn't use player.json. But apparently it doesn't, which makes it compatible with other add-ons. So that's really cool. You can use, for example, I, I don't know if that armor add-on uses player.json, but I'm guessing it does, because I don't know how you do like those armor effects. Oh man, I always forget how cool Obsidian looks in RTX. But I don't know how you'd get some of those armor effects without, um... Oh, well, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> well, hey, even though I died, it, was, it works well, because I died and then it reset the energy, because that's like, it would reset your hunger and your health. I don't know. I like the little icon for it too. Like it actually looks like it could be part of the game. So I don't know. I think this is a really well thought out thing. I haven't really seen anything like this before. I mean, I've seen some things. I've seen like a thirst add on and stuff, but I like the energy concept a little better. And I think there are some things you can get like energy potions. Let me check through here. Energy. Yeah. Energy drinks you can get with uh, oh, sugar, honeycomb and water bucket. That's actually really funny. I like that. And then you can get um, some energy, empty energy drink. Uh, bottles with some glass, so that's pretty cool. So anyway, this is a, a pretty neat add-on. I mean, that's kind of all it does, but it is pretty neat. I'm gonna also give this one a 7 out of 10 because this seems like it works really well. I mean, all it adds in is the energy thing, but it adds in what it wants to add in and it adds it in well. So I would definitely recommend checking this out. As always, you can get all of these add-ons in the link in the description. They will all take you to the original MCP DL or I guess in the Vatnage add-on case, Vatnage add-ons if it's on there. Um, and you can, you can, you can get them. I don't know why I said that three times, but you can get these add-ons and you can try them out. And I would recommend trying all of these out because these are all good add-ons and I'm happy with the selection of add-ons that I've picked this time. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you made it here, comment down below which of these add-ons is your favorite and which of them you would uh, be interested in using uh, if you made it to here. So thank you, see you later and goodbye.